Hey y'all, Rochelle here, your delightful crafter. So first, let me apologize. Um, I wanted to post this earlier today, but um, we were just doing a lot of stuff around the house, playing catch up. Um, my family was working in the backyard and, you know, just got distracted and then dinner and you guys kind of know how adulting goes. Um, so today is the promised... Um, um, showing you the collection of my glass dip pens, um, some demonstrations, and um, the little bit of knowledge that I have about dip pens because I'm I'm fairly new to it. And um, yeah, so if you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you stick around a spell. Um, Thumbs up likes are always appreciated. Don't forget to hit the thumb um, subscribe button, ding the bell next door. If you want to get notifications of future videos, questions or comments, please leave them down below because I do try to get back to everybody. Eventually, I'm slowly paying catch up because I'm actually kind of way behind in responding to everybody. But before we get to my little mountain of pens, I have a couple items that came in from AliExpress and I'm super excited because I'm hoping quite a few of you, it, it showed, it's a movie that came out a couple years ago and it's a true story. It's, I believe it's called The Woman in Gold. It was in limited theaters and ex excellent, excellent movie. Anyway, it's, it's about this woman and her quest to get a family portrait that was stolen by the Nazis in, in Austria and all this stuff and the portrait is of her aunt and the artist was Gustav Klimt. I love Gustav Klimt and I'm so excited because I finally got my hands on this absolutely stunning coloring book. And what is really great about this coloring book is that it's not your traditional coloring book. Oh, by the way, almost all of his pictures, um, paintings, they're, they have gold, like real gold um, gilt in the paintings. But I have to be careful how I flip through here because some, I mean, not that... The body can be painted tastefully. Personally, I, I'm not a big fan of showing any parts of the body. But if it can be done tastefully, he has done it. And uh, he's from around the turn of the century, so 18, 1900s. The story kind of takes place around you know, World War II. But throughout the whole book, you have pictures of the actual painting. And then on the other page, you have the ability to actually color it yourself. And, um, and then there's also descriptions of the paintings. So, um, so that's all I'm going to show you because, you know, I'm, I'm a big fan of trying to support those who, you know, because hard books are becoming a dying art because everybody's gone digital and so I just, this is something I really love. There's a couple more in this particular series that I'm trying to get a hold of. And I haven't decided if I'm actually going to color in it or not. But just the fact that I can. And the color pages can actually be uh, removed. So um, I thought that was pretty awesome. But each one of these has a description and the history behind the painting. So any hoo-ha. Um see yeah they're all they're all pretty Im um, interesting but I just think he's a, a wonderful artist and um, I didn't know about him until the movie came out so but anyway so I was excited to get my hands on that now I'm gonna pull this aside because um, the AliExpress that came in it literally came in, so I haven't cut it, but I believe this was featured on, I believe her channel is called Nicole Silhouette on YouTube, and uh, she designed this die set, and when you put it together, it's a makeup compact, 
And so this is would be a really neat like shaker card. Um, I'm hoping to play, well, not next weekend because next weekend we're going to be moving my daughter to Oklahoma. But I'm hoping uh, probably the weekend after I want to do a demo on this one because I just fell in love with it when I saw it on YouTube. So wanted to bring that to your attention so that you knew it was out there. Then, gosh darn it. This came in today, and I'm assuming I've already gotten the stamp set. But they're dies, and I believe they're for some cats. I'll be honest, I'm not sure. Because if you look right there, you can kind of see the fishy. And... So I guess we'll see. I'm going to have to figure this one out because it's a really odd die. So, but, uh, so got that one in. And then the last thing, really no big deal, except it is a gorgeous color. I got in some sequins that I ordered off of Allie. So that's it for Allie. And my, I think I ordered my coloring book off of Amazon, I think. Not quite positive. But anyway, so there's that. So on to the dip pen. We're going to start with, I'm going to show them to you. And then at the end, I'll do a demo so you can see how they work. And I thought I had more. I mean, I still have quite a few, but I thought I had more pens. So this one, I mean, it is, you know, it is beautiful. This is a straight, okay, so remember I was talking the other day about these grooves in the tips? So these are called furrows, and in these furrows, this is what holds the ink um, for for the writing. And I have found that when they're, it's a straight furrow, I am not as big a fan of this type of pen I prefer the ones that have the spiral tips, and I'll show that if this is the first time that you have seen um, any of my glass dip pens. I've only featured one, and that was in, a pre uh, I think, the previous video to this. So this one is like a gorgeous, like, peachy pink. I'm going to set that down right there. I'm going to try and kind of keep these in order, because I, I keep them in their boxes until... I have my because I just don't I don't want them broken. This one, guys, is that not gorgeous or what? Come on and focus. Let's see. I don't know if you can see. It's kind of like a gold silver flecking through the blue glass that's in the center. And as I mentioned in the previous, this is one of those that has the spiral bound, uh, the spiral furrows in the, the, the tip of the pen. So there's that one. Next, I'm trying to, there's one I abs. oh yes. Okay guys, this is probably one of my absolute favorites and I think you're going to love it too. It's, it's a squid or it's a jellyfish. Is that not pretty or what? Come on and focus. And this one writes absolutely beautifully. So there's that one. All right. This one came with a little, we're going to set it right there. I could go faster, but like I said, I'm trying to keep everything in order so that um, I can put them away safely. This one um, is near and dear to my heart because it is blue and orange. This is my gator pen. So love the colors in this one. I mean, obviously it's mostly blue, but the orange, um, it's not coming up very well that I can tell in the camera, but absolutely beautiful. I absolutely love it. Next, this is like the first one, 
And I think this is my one where the, the tip is chipped. One of them has a chipped tip so it doesn't write very well. It's just a soft green. Um, not one of my nicer pens, but uh, there's that. Okay, this is one of those that I had mentioned before. This is like the blue one, but it's gold. And it has flecking through it as well, the color. I don't know if you can see that. And it has a spiral tip. This one, let's see, will probably sit. Yeah, it'll sit still. And this one came with uh, a purple ink and another rest. Next, this is just a pretty black one. And it has a, um, a squared off body that keeps it from rolling. And on this side, it's hard to see, but there's actually, where's my piece of paper? The lighting, you can kind of see the little bits of blue that um, fleck through this one. And honestly, it's only on this side of the pen, nowhere else. So there's that. And this one here also came with another um, little pen rest. And I haven't just figured out what these are, but a couple of them come with these cute little charms here. So I'm not sure what they are, but I'm holding on to them. So we'll see. Next. Oh, yes. Is that not beautiful? Look at that. Another with the, the spiral furrows on the tip. Yeah, this one's gonna need its little rest because it does not want to sit still. So. Again, I am really sorry that I got, I'm getting this out so late. This one was a special order. Um, I can't remember where I got it, but it's, as you can see, it's beautiful. It's red with some white and yellow um, accents. Very beautiful. Kind of reminds you of a flower when you're looking at it. And again, it has the spiral tip uh, furrows. this is my big boy it came with um, four different inks a rest and a little jar and it's red with silver flecking maybe this is my one Maybe I have two with a chipped tip. We'll find out. And then these three are new. I had forgotten that I'd ordered them. These came, I believe these came off of AliExpress. But they're little lucky cats. Aren't they cute? Look at that. And I, so I haven't tested these out, so I don't know how these ones write, but they have the spiral tip furrows, which I tend to prefer. So I got it in the pink. I think a blue. What's this one? Yeah, I got it in a blue. Isn't that cute? And the pink one's the only one that didn't come with the cover on its tip. Is that him there? And, come on. Uh, it's like a peach color. And he's kind of waving at you. So, there's that. 
And then the one that I showed you guys and got you interested in with the cute little, we'll set that there. This one here. This is probably up there with some of my top favorite ones as far as uh, just being able to look at it and it's being beautiful. So that is my collection of glass dip pens and you guys are curious how it works. So I'm going to try and pull these aside without hurting them. I'm going to get my ink open so that we can dip and oh I'm trying to figure out how to do this because I want I have my boxes in a certain order so I can put them in there correct um, piece you know in their correct storage uh, I'm kind of scared I don't want to put them I don't want to drag the video out by putting them back and I'm, I'm sure you know where I'm going with that so we'll set that one up there and I think I can do this so I know that this one writes well really well so as I stated it's a dip pen so all you do is you dip it in your ink I'm going to come up here a little bit on the side. Hello. From the delightful crafter. And as you can see that on the on the nib, it is slowly traveling down the tip. Um, my name is Rochelle Crawford. Dip again, not that I really have to. And I love to craft. And I can just keep going. Let's see. Blue. Jellyfish. Um, glass dip pens. So, and that's, and all you do is you just have my little... Um, container of water over here on the side now this little jar here actually came with one of my pens and I can't remember I'll be honest I can't remember which one it is and I'll just dip it one more time there we go so that is my jellyfish not quite sure how many of these you guys want me to demonstrate, but since these ones are new, let's go ahead and try my cute little uh, happy lucky cats. Um, I only have a couple of inks. Um, Windsor Newton ink is an amazing ink for dip pens, fountain pens, um, calligraphy. Um, I have a really neat, and, and I'll be honest, I'll do another demo in the future because I have a really neat ink that actually glows in the dark. But I have to figure out how to video that. But when I do, I will show you. And then the only other inks I have are some of the small jars that came with some of these pens. So we're going to dip this little guy in. We'll be This will be our test run to see how these ones write. Again, these came off of AliExpress. So we'll, I'm not quite sure of the quality of the tips. Um, let's see. Here's my daughter's name. Well, oh, that's already not writing very well. So um, some of these, if they don't seem to write at first, you can always turn your pen and it'll change the tip of the, um, the tip of the nib 
and it will flow better. So like as you saw, I, when I first started writing, nothing came, no ink came off the tip. You can also, as you're writing, turn it and that'll change um, the flow of the ink. So um, let's see the name of our cats. Oh, see, there we go. There we go again. Pancake. El Suave. Who's our other cat? Oh, my son's cat, Mustache. And our sweet little Karma. And I had told you guys that she was going to make a cameo today. However, she's not been feeling very well. And we've kind of been forcing her to at least um, drink formula. Um, because she's not eating. Uh, my son's taking her to the vet on Monday. Um, just so that they can look at her. Um, so she's been sleeping a lot. And I just don't want to mess with her since she's not um, feeling so great. And... Um, so I'll keep y'all up to date on how Little Miss Karma is doing. And uh, yeah, so as you, as you can tell, I'm not good at brush lettering. I'm not good at calligraphy. My handwriting really isn't that wonderful, but this is fun. And, you know, besides, the more you write and, and practice, the better you'll get. So hopefully I'll get better. Let's see. Uh, come on. Yeah, we'll, we'll just say we're done with this one. Obviously, I mean, this one's from AliExpress. The tip is not as wonderful as my jellyfish. Let's see. And it is very important that you keep your tips clean um, for them to work well. Let's see how my gator pen does. Oh, here I am. I'm going to the water instead of the ink. Okay, there we go. Um, let's see. Cards. This one um, was a custom order pen, and I can tell this one writes much smoother than the little cats. My jellyfish was really smooth, but this one is definitely better. Um, cards. Let's see. Mini albums. Scrapbooking. Um, dip pen. Yeah, this, this pen is almost like writing with a ballpoint. That's how this feels when I'm writing with it. So there's that. And as you can tell, um, it has a thicker, um, it lays down the ink thicker than the other ones have. So there's that. Um, I think I'm going to try this pretty one that I showed you guys the other day. Get this all clean. So. Ooh. And I think this is all I'm, um, I'll show this and then I'll show the ones that just have the straight furrows that I told you I'm not a big fan of. Let's see. And it's important when you dip your pen, you do kind of, you know, tap it off to the side so it doesn't drip off onto your paper. Um, okay, well. Sometimes you just have to get them flowing. And this one, I think I'm a little sad about. Okay, I guess it's just a matter of how I'm holding it. So, or not. I love my hubby. So this one, I don't know if you can hear it kind of scratching across the paper. I don't really, I mean, it feels good in the hand, but I do not like the tip. So this was not a very expensive pen. And I can kind of tell with how it's writing. So it might just be one of those that I get to look at and enjoy, but not actually use. Um, so what I was hoping I could do with my pens, as you can see that they are like little works of art, 
I was wanting, I was contemplating like getting a really pretty vase. Not quite sure what I was going to put in it, but kind of stick them in so they look like a bouquet of pens. But then we already know that my pine, my crystal pineapple is broken. I just found out today that my unicorn was broken by one of the fur children in the house. So I would probably really cry if any of these guys were broken. Even though it doesn't write very well, it is beautiful to look at. So, uh, yeah. So I don't think that they're going to be something that I share. Oh, hold on. My son is bringing me Little Miss Karma. Let's see what she does. Hey, sweetie. She's just a purring. She's a lot bigger. She's about doubled her size since you guys last saw her. Hey, sweetie. Yeah, you're going to step all over my pens? Hmm? It's a good thing you're little. She's just purring away. Let me see if I can show her your face. She has this beautiful, like, cream eyeliner to her eyes. Karma! Hey, sweet girl! Yeah? Okay, he's gonna take her away. It's bedtime. Um, let's try one of these uh, straight tip furrows. We'll do uh, the peach one. I think this was one of my first ones. And this is going to be our last demo, I think. So, I'd love to hear what you guys think. Um, you can find these on Amazon, AliExpress. Um, I found them a couple other places. I can't, oh, one of them comes from, it's called... Uh, the Art, Art of the Book by Nancy Hulon. So, there's that. And... I want to say this one is the red one right here. Oh, well, I've pushed it down. You can't see it. So, anyway, let's see. I uh, I told you guys I foster. So, I foster for the South Texas Persian rescue and this one obviously I haven't used this one in a while this one writes absolutely beautifully so so it must be this green one that doesn't write very well but uh, what else do I want to write I guess that's it so Happy crafting and happy memorial weekend. Honestly, I can write better than this. I just um, normally I write closer to myself, but the way my phone is situated, I have to write away. So but uh, there you go, guys. You guys had, were curious how they actually worked. Did they work? Um, you know, it just, it really, it really depends. Um, the quality of the ink uh, makes a difference. The quality of the pen makes a difference. And this is regular cardstock. This isn't actually cardstock that is meant for writing. And I'm still, like, putting stuff away, so I don't know where, like, my good writing paper is. So, uh, I will say that this one here is harder to clean than the, the spiral-tipped pens. Any hoo-ha, that, guys, is my growing collection of glass dip pens. I haven't been actively looking for any. Um, the, these, these cat ones kind of just showed up across my alley and I had to uh, give them a try. I am very sad that this gorgeous one here writes pretty cruddily. <laughs> very sad about that. But if I, if I had a good camera 
you can actually tell that there you go this one here the jellyfish has a much finer tip on it and this one here kind of looks kind of coarse you can kind of see it's not very um what's the word uh smooth so i'm sure that affects how the ink does not flow off of it nicely so but it is still gorgeous to look at um so yeah i hope you guys had a great saturday i do have a couple videos that i will be sharing with y'all tomorrow i haven't decided if i'm going to share y'all an update on the room i have been kind of um, getting stuff put away and I haven't labeled any drawers but I'm kind of designating what goes in what drawer but as I'm doing that I'm putting stuff away and bringing more stuff in so it actually looks like I'm not making any progress in the room <laughs> but uh with that being said guys I hope you guys have a wonderful Memorial Day weekend I hope those of you that have a long weekend have wonderful stuff planned with your friends and family don't forget that this weekend is to remember those that have, you know, given their lives in service to our country to, you know, guarantee the freedoms and um, the everyday, just the everyday that we take for granted. And if it weren't for them, we wouldn't have this wonderful country that we live in. And, um, so just take a moment when you're having your barbecue and, you know, sitting with family, remember what th this weekend is actually about. So with that, I hope you guys have a blessed Sunday and as always, love you guys to pieces. Happy crafting. Bye-bye.